up, kicking the record squad. So, this is Vlogmas day two for me. I just started doing this Vlogmas. Um, I came to a conclusion. You don't have to already be famous or have heck of viewers and stuff like that. You can do Vlogmas, whatever. So, that's what I decided to do. I started to do Vlogmas. And I updated... No, I uploaded five videos, maybe three. I think I'm pushing it with five, maybe three videos. Um, so go check them out. I think I burnt some of the popcorn, but then I think I didn't. Yep, I burnt some of them. Jeez, I hate burnt stuff. Hit it with a passion, but um, let's get straight into the video. The video, the video. I'm at work right now, obviously, y'all can see that. So, this vlogmas, I'm gonna post this one, but it's gonna be like a vlogmas, vlogmas part two. This is sugar. I gotta have popcorn and sugar. So this is like, I'm gonna have part two to this because I want to prank my mom. Shoot. That's gonna prank my family. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I quit my job for YouTube prank. Just to see how she gonna react. And see, she's like, go ahead, that's what you wanna do. That's her dream. We well, gotta do it. What's your blog? Girl, you crazy. You need to go back to work. Oh, we're gonna see. Um We gonna see what she said. We don't know how we ask him. But since I was gonna prank her with that, I'm gonna do a job versus YouTube. Um pros and cons. Um, like if I had an option to stay at home and do YouTube all day, I will. But then, I feel like I'm gonna be bored. I feel like I just be in the camera all day. I feel like I'm gonna be bored. At least with my job, I'm gonna be that bored. I'm gonna be actually working, working. And. They both stressful. They both a job at the end of the day. Cause you're getting paid. So. They both a job. But I can honestly say. I'm making a mess. Turn my walk. But I can honestly say, um, I think I'll do YouTube. I think I'll stay home. I'm going to have to focus on my kids more. Um, it was like a different experience because I was just stay at home mom, for like a year. Yeah. It was okay. It was it wasn't nothing like it wasn't like having your own money, you know. Like I couldn't do much because I didn't really have that much money. 
I didn't want to add. I should have put some hot sauce in my popcorn. And I didn't want to ask people for money, so. I don't know. But that's my intake. I choose YouTube. If I could, maybe YouTube. I'd probably be able to push better content. Do more stuff. Because when I work, I work over sometimes. Like now I'm working over. So when I was uploading those videos, I did it at work. I was at work uploading videos for y'all. Um, I chatted down some ideas I wanted to do for my channel. I need you guys to know my birthday is coming up. December 15th, so I'm going to have a vlog for that. A birthday vlog. Um, um, I ordered the Be Love sauce. So I'm going to do my first reaction to that. Um, I found out how to do reaction videos. So after this one, I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to see. And if it goes good, I'm going to upload it. Even if it don't go good, I'm going to still upload it. That's my, like, my first reaction. And y'all can learn from it. I can learn from my, my you know, my video. Um... I can see the progress of myself on YouTube when it comes to like editing and all that stuff. I'm getting a little bit better at editing. The thing that I'm editing on my phone. Hold on. Why you, why you make that face? I'm hungry. But no work Nope. I asked you earlier. I know. I'm asking now. You won't work I made plans. Why? Because you told me you didn't need me. Remember that? I asked how many times did I ask you? I remember that. I remember that. How many times did I ask you? I don't remember that. I asked you like three times. I don't remember that. I said, you sure? You said, yeah, because I got to come in. I got to do stuff anyway. So you don't want to work? I already made plans. You don't want to work, mom? <laughs> I already made plans. <laughs> uh, I told her I'll work for her tomorrow. She said she wanted to come in and work because she got to do stuff. Now she's gonna be the way. I made plans. Mr. Shot. But, um, I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm gonna get a little background on my work. So, I work for, first off, I'm a resident caregiver. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. Sorry. But I'm a resident caregiver and I've had meds. 
I work for a memory care facility. I love my job. And I love my residents. Even though it can be challenging. Working in the healthcare um, field can be very challenging. Um, like, my resident, one of them, bust my nose. They hit me in my nose. I got sent out. So, it's like up and up, but these are some of the things I do. So, let me finish this popcorn up first. Ooh, all that sugar. Ooh. All right, so this is the list of everything I gotta do. So I'm gonna break down my day. I work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's my normal shift. So when I come in, I get some coffee. Um. We get some coffee. I go, then we have our assigned houses that we work on. So it's front and back hall. So it's two gear, two caregivers to three houses. One house is only have one caregiver because it's only seven residents. The other house has two caregivers. So either you get the front hall or the back hall. So then you conduct hourly checks of each residence and document. So you must lay eyes on residents. So one house is at 11 o'clock, another house is at 11.15, another house is at 11.45, another house is at 11.30. So, so when we come in, if you got 7 o'clock, you got, you got to do your rounds at 7 o'clock. You got to do another round at 8 o'clock, and then so on, whatever your time stamp is. So 7 o'clock. 8.15, 8.30, 8.45. That's when you guys start doing your checks. And then in the summertime, you have to do rounds outside. So if you, the doors open up to like 10 o'clock. So like if you were 10 o'clock, if your house has 10 o'clock timestamp, you gotta go outside, walk the whole um, backyard to make sure you keep eyes on our residents or whatever. And then that's the next one. Conduct hourly courtyard checks and document when doors are unlocked. Um, read the 24-hour report and read book for residence updates and changes. So we have a 24-hour report where each shift reports. So 7 a.m. 3 to 11 and then 11 to 7. So we all shift report what's going on, who been changed, who got a shower. You really got shift report all of that, but then you just do like if a, someone had a fall or someone's been combative and this and that, somebody got sent out. Um, then you got checked for showers. So people, the residents have certain shower days. Um, nobody take baths, but people have, they have sh certain shower days. When you get them a shower, you wash their clothes, you change their linen. Um, we you get them up. You have to brush your teeth, clean dent uh, dentures after meal time. Um, read service plan for for specific individuals for residents care. That means when it's time for us to give them food, we have to make sure that their diet didn't change to like mechanical salt, thickening, and parade, and all the other stuff. If they're allergic to this or that. Um, new residents. Um, if you have a new resident, we get a service plan. Uh, pretty much everything about them is kind of some, somewhat kind of accurate. But what I do is I give I do my own uh, um, observation on a new resident because what they said might not be how that resident act. And I got that a lot of time. Like this person, and I'm at a wheel facility I was at, they service plan was perfect like this seemed like they could do whatever they you know whatever they wanted to do they could do it on their own all this stuff and they got here it was just like wait your service plan said you could do this but now you just so i go off my own observation because with this type of career that i'm in and the disease that they have 
they can be good one day and down the next day and then be back good so it's like a up and up and down situation with them um take vitals weights and heights as needed we don't do heights um but we do do weights and vital signs that is um the beginning of the first month um, we tried already to explain the 24-hour report. That's when you just, it's like a big black book that we have. And you just write, if somebody, something happened, if another resident hit another resident, if they fail, all this other stuff. Um, then we have to clean the hall bathroom, the tub, the shower, shower sheets, and clean between each resident's use as needed. Um, no personal items or toiletries left in the hallway. Floor swept the mop. The pantry um, routine cleaning at each use meal or snack refrigerator <laughs> refrigerator kept in early manner all food covered and disposed of timely and and all spills cleaned clean refrigerator freezer daily in, inside and out microwave wiped out after each use daily ensure it is clean at all times no employee food items stored in the pantry or refrigerator that still happen. Clean countertops, sinks, walls, cabinets as necessary. Take tray out of dishwasher after eat after every meal. Rinse and place back in the dishwasher. So we got dishwasher. So like how ours is, we got this little tray where it collects all the food. You put to take it out, rinse it off, put it back in there. Um, residence bathroom, sink, toilet, mirror cleaned every day. Place toilet paper as needed. Um, we do have housekeepers, so our job is just like mainly like light housekeeping. So if they got a smudge on their toilet or the floor is a little bit nasty or they, you know, something like that. Um, residence bag, okay. Trash removed, the new bags and placed in each can daily. Bed maids per service plan. Um, pretty much everybody get their bed made every morning. Um, some residents don't get, I don't, some, some residents I have, I don't make their bed because I know that they're going to get right back in it. Um, as soon as you get them up and dressed, they're going to get back in their bed. Trash removing new bags, places in the cabin. Bed, okay, blah, blah, blah. Check linens daily, change linens twice per week on shower days or as needed. So, like I said in the beginning, we give showers for the change their sheets and wash their clothes. But also... They want us to change linen just in case if they had like an accident or something or the sheets was dirty, change them. It's like you would do at your house. Um, wash bed spreads per week as needed. All rooms clean every day, spills, accidents, straighten room dra um, drawers and closets. Remove dishes, glasses of food. Check for articles, clothes not belonging in the room. Oh my gosh, that is the biggest one is when People clothes be all mixed up. Um, bathrooms check daily for toilet um, accidents, including toilet on the floor. I said that. This is like come like basically kind of like repeating itself. Sweep in my room and shower days as needed. Ensure laundry folded and hung put away. Do not just shove the laundry on on the closet shelves. Vacuum hard floor and living room daily. Uh, residence laundry to be completed on shower days like I said it's just like basically repeating itself um, assist with meals including setting up assisting residents um, observation of residents and clean up cut up touch food tough food this is touch but it's for the same cut up tough food such as meats and all for all residents so we have chefs at my job so what they do is they got this big old cart they make the food up and they put it on the, on a cart and they bring it down to us and we have plates and cups and silverware and all that stuff and we just plate the food and we serve it to them once I get done with the dishes we wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen but Oh, and then he says, you must stay on the house until the next shift arrives. You must communicate info. Nobody really does that, but then you do your walkie-talkie change, rooms clean, house, hall, whatever. 
But this is a checklist that you put to go by. We don't do these checklists no more. They tried to do it, but it didn't stick. Um, so that's pretty much my job description. Um, everything that I do from starting at from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. I have to do all that stuff. But I made it to where I'm not overwhelming myself with all this work to do. You know, because like our schedule is pre-made. So when I look at my schedule and I know what house I'm on, I already know what I need to do for that day, how I'm planning my day out. And sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes you see your name on the schedule and then you come in, you move to some other place. So then it throws your whole game plan off. And you got to rethink a game plan for this house. So it's an up and up. Um, but that's the end of this video. It's getting to like 21 minutes long. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. This is Vlogmas Day 2 for me. Um, I am still going to do that prank once I get off of work. I'm going to head to my mom's house and I'm going to do that prank. But she won't, you guys won't be able to see her reaction because I don't have a camera. So I can't set it up. I only have my phone. So I'm going to hold my phone like facing towards me, but you guys can hear her. And you can have my family and all that stuff. So I'm going to just see what they say. Let me see if you know baby be like, okay, Courtney, we got you. We we gonna support you in this world. My family they support me anyway with this YouTube thing, but it's just like when I say I quit my job, I'm gonna make it more like more dramatic. I'm gonna come in the house like, oh my fuck freaking gosh. I can't believe my job today. Um my boss tried to fight me. No, 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 my boss. So my caregiver, like, one of the caregivers tried to fight me, and my boss didn't do nothing about it. We was in out arguing and all this other stuff. So I just walked out, and I told them I'm done. And I'm just like, I'm going to just start doing YouTube from now on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my acting skills together. So I'm not going to post this video right now because my family follows me, and they subscribe to my channel. So if I post this, I'm pretty sure they're gonna go watch it, so the prank will not go as planned. The other prank I wanted to do, I seen Clarence do it to Queen. It was put the rat and the and some food, but I don't gotta like that to put some money to put some rats in the food. I don't gotta like that. I don't gotta like that. So yeah, that's the move. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because it's only going up and more videos will be dropping soon. I told y'all that I am coming back with the bangers. And I told y'all that I'm going to make time to start vlogging. Um, so please go check out these last three videos. The last four videos I just dropped. Leave a comment um, to what you want to see next. And I will get that done for you guys. So until the next video. My first prank ever. Well, it will be my second prank because I pranked my Facebook and told them I cut my hair and I sent a picture of me with my hair like slicked back. But, um, yeah, so hit that subscribe button. Join me. Join Kicking the Record. But, um, like I said, it's, it's go time. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.